Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. A walrus is a large marine mammal which occupies Arctic waters and is notable for its enormous tusks and hulking blubberous form. Walrus Audio, on the other hand, are an audio company known for their guitar pedals with stylish screen printed graphics. In a divergence from their established catalogue, Walrus Audio recently brought out the first in their Mako series of pedals, the D1 High Fidelity Echo Machine, which makes use of a shark processor to produce a veritable cornucopia of programmable delay sounds. Walruses? Sharks? This is all verging on Attenborough territory, but don't worry, the rest of this video will have nothing to do with nature documentaries. Nonetheless, let's take a walk on the wild side and see what this tweaky box has to offer. At its heart, the Mako D1 is a digital delay powered by a shark processor. That's a super Harvard architecture single chip computer. And while that might sound like the misheard lyrics to a popular Mary Poppins song, it's actually a highly efficient floating point digital signal processor. Ha, <laughs> you don't have to care what any of that means. Just know that the brain of this pedal is really good at crunching the numbers, allowing for five high fidelity studio quality delay programs. With all the knobs and switches, you would be correct in thinking that there are a lot of options to play with here, including stereo ins and outs, a tap tempo, three memory banks which allow access to nine stored preset locations accessible from the pedal, MIDI functionality expands that out to 128 stored memory locations and you might just need them as the three-way tweak control and subdivision switch offer near infinite possibilities to craft a delay tone that you will love. It's easier to operate than it looks. First, you select the delay program that you want to use. Digital provides a clear, precise digital delay, perfect for ultra-defined rhythmic guitar lines. Modulation throws random LFO modulations onto the repeats, giving a unique warping delay with every echo. Vintage captures the essence of old analog echoes, complete with complex filtering of the repeats to achieve that bucket brigade degradation we all admire. Dual runs two delays in parallel. When connected stereo, each delay is sent to a different output with different subdivisions, creating a bouncing ping pong delay. And finally, reverse processes the repeat backwards to achieve a reverse delay sound. All of these can be tweaked extensively by, appropriately enough, the tweak control. Mod, tone and age each do a different thing depending on which program you are using, but generally mod sets the prominence of the modulation, tone selects how dark or bright the repeats are, and age dictates how gnarly and distorted the echoes get over time. The real star of the show, however, is the attack control. This rolls off the transient wavefront of the repeats, allowing for echoes that enter softly without the initial attack the original note had. This is perfect for creating ethereal washes or really degraded tape-like echoes. Thank you. 
The advantage of soft switches is that they can have a momentary functionality. Holding down the bypass switch ramps the feedback up until you let go, at which point it resets back to the knob position. This is a neat little extra that could have some creative possibilities. Ok, let's put all of that into some context. I've spent time dialing in a bunch of delay sounds that I really like and storing them in the three coloured memory banks of the pedal. Let's get some riffs and licks on the go and see how these echoes complement the sound. <laughs> Let's discuss the utility of the D1. It's a folded, anodized aluminium housing which is becoming increasingly popular in effects pedals as you can create unusual shapes like this without the need for expensive custom die cast moulds. The soft switches are mounted to this raised platform which provides sure and easy access when crammed alongside other tall pedals on a busy pedal board. With stereo side jacks and full size 5 pin midi din connections on the top, this pedal will take up a lot of room if you have everything connected, but that's just the price one pays for this level of functionality. Switching presets is done by pressing both foot switches at the same time and is indicated by a change in colour of the flashing LED. Saving a setting to a coloured preset is achieved by holding down both foot switches for a few seconds until the LEDs flash. This gives access to three presets by foot alone, and by flicking the bank toggle switch you can access up to nine, but you will need a hand free to go between each of the three banks. The colour indicator for the preset is on the flashing tap tempo LED, which is always active, meaning that you can see which preset is selected regardless of if the effect is bypassed. You see, that's why you can't have the colour on the bypass indicator instead, Henning. Think it through. 
That's really all of the technical details I can go into here without this video becoming tediously dull. There's a lot to explore with this pedal, especially if you want to dive into the MIDI control, the true bypass settings and the global tempo adjustments, so I would advise you to RTFM if you want to be a total nerd. What more is there to say really? This is a very high quality digital delay with vast amounts of customization in sound and a pretty compact form factor. If you're looking for a delay with this level of flexibility, then it's well worth a look. I'm more used to single sound, single functionality analog delay pedals and I certainly gravitated more towards those kind of sounds within the D1 and it does them remarkably well. I especially liked how much control I had over tweaking the way the repeat sounded, but my missionary position attitude towards delay is probably limiting my creativity with what can be achieved with this effect. For anyone a bit more open to experimentation, there are certainly Kama Sutra levels of exotic positions one could adopt to keep their romance with delay fresh and exciting while using the D1. Frankly, I think Walrus Audio have nailed it with this one. Links will be in the description if you want to find out more, check out the price or even buy one for yourself. But that's all for now. Keep it loud and I'll see you later.